Hey guys, how's it going? Just me and us Tattoo here with another review for you. And today we're taking a look at from Leonard Toys or Leonard, the Corpse Three Man Recon Total Soldier. Uh, pretty much it's a Walmart exclusive. <laughs> I haven't seen these figures anywhere else. They're kind of like the knockoff of G.I. Joe and other stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd review it for you since I'm going to open them up and I don't know if there's too many reviews on it. I'll do a size comparison and everything. Why the hell not, right? I did that Toys R Us uh, police figures back in the day. Why not this? So here it is, still in package. Here we get a good look at the figures in inside. Got the accessories in there. Comes with a bike as well, so that's cool. Three man recon. Get a picture of a random character here. I wonder, like, take like a Photoshop picture. I wonder where they got this. Did someone, like, actually, like, work on this? Like, it's weird. Like, you know, like, all I can say is, from what these figures are, they look a lot better quality than something you can get at the 99 cent store. Or, like, random, like, Dollar Tree. Dollar Depot. <laughs> Basically, some random dollar store. These figures look better than that quality. Because when it comes to those figures, you return the back and see just, you know, like, gray cardboard. But here we go, we got the back here still decorated. So that's cool. We got other teams here, dude. Other teams. Look, see, it's uh, right here. Leonard or Leonard. Whatever. Maybe I can't read, huh? So here's the team that we're on today. Terra team. Specialized land assault unit. Yeah. So there's four guys right here, but we only got three. So uh, this is the one that's missing right here. This guy. Rain. He's not in there. So we got... Rucker, Crash, and Dozer. But anyways, that's the team of today. We got other teams over here. We got Convert Commando. Down here we got um, C Squad. Over here is Flying Force. How <laughs> original, right? Flying Force. Got the Top Gun wannabes slash Nick Fury. The C Squad. They look like uh, they look like tall GI Joe knockoffs, like Cobra or something. These guys, the, the colors to God just reminds me of like Ben 10 or something. Anyways, let's get this review going. I'm rambling on too much. I'm going to open this up and give you a closer look at the 3 man recon. And here they are out of package just waiting to be reviewed. Let's take a look at the bike first. Here is the bike. A dirt bike, I think. It's kind of random because I don't know. I don't really see military men using this, do they? What do I know? But anyways, just, you know, plain two colors. Actually, three. It's just plain black. It's got the plain gray on it. And in the middle, it's got more of a silver. So that's kind of cool. Same thing on the other side, but they have two stickers on this side. I'm not sure why they didn't put it on that side. I guess because they thought, oh, inbox. Who's going to give a shit, right? Got the, also the gray on the rims. Actually, has some decent detail. But what it is, it's just not painted the way it could be to make it look a lot better. But yeah, it's got the wheels which do rotate on each side. That's it, there's no steering mechanism or nothing like that. That's it. And now let's take a look at the figures. We'll grab this guy first. And according to you know, the back of the package, this guy is Xander... Patopsky? Crash. His nickname is Crash. So, looking at Crash here, he is, uh, he is what he is. <laughs> he actually looks a lot like the other figure back there. Just has a beard. His hair, is, his hair is slightly different compared to the other one. I'll do a comparison when I get the other one. But for now, we're taking a look at him. He's actually got a pretty good amount of detail. He's got grenades. He's got a knife in the holster. He's got this big old belt. With all this strap vest around him, with all these pockets. But the back is only painted one color, so that kind of sucks. But he still has the sculpting detail, which is, you know, the rest of the vest. More pockets. He's got the pants with all the straps around it for his stuff, which is, you know, a gun, handgun in a holster. He's got more pockets. Don't show, not sure what's in there. And yeah. Look at that. The boots look good. He's got a knife. <laughs> cool. I like it. It reminds me of kind of like of Ninja Turtles back in the day. The old school 80s and 90s figures. 
They had a pretty good amount of detail, but they just weren't painted that great. So you got the shirts, you know, shirt sleeves rolled up right there, and you see his gloves right here. <laughs> He's got two hands. One of them looks like a trigger finger. The other one just looks like a generic, you know, slightly fist slash holding something. And yeah. So he's got um he's got like the actual camel colors. You see the green on his pants? But nothing on the back. The back is just one color, so that kinda sucks. You can see the screw right there. <laughs> his face looks like he means business, yeah. I think the beard kind of intimidates me a little. <laughs> okay, so articulation wise, all I can do. It says a ball joint in the head, but it doesn't really oh yeah, that could stays a little bit. Yeah. But it's mostly, it doesn't really go forward and back too much. Mostly to the sides slightly, but it's mostly for just the swivel. So it's left and right. Pin socket shoulders and go all the way around, side to side. Really good amount. Does not have a bicep swivel, but he does down here at the sleeve. So you can turn it. See that? One, one uh, elbow joint hinge right there. And nothing in the wrist though. It's the same thing in the other arm and waist. Yep, we got waist articulation. The gun does not come out of here. By the way, it's molded on. Legs go forward and back. Really far, actually. But that's it, though. You cannot go side to side or nothing like that. Single jointed hinge for the knee. And that's it. There's nothing in the boot or the toes. I will say he feels like a, a you know, decent quality amount of plastic but the legs however they feel cheaper because you see that they're kind of rubbery like I feel like like I feel like I can twist the foot if I wanted to but it's gonna go back to where it was so that's crash for you and now let's take a look at this guy and according to the back of the package this guy's name is Alex Brody Brody Alex Brody nickname Rucker so Rucker here, this is the, he looks a lot like this one actor, I don't know if I stated it earlier, but I know I said it in my haul video, he looks a lot like the actor Frank Grillo, I think I pronounced it right, the guy who was, who was in the, the lead actor in The Purge Part 2, also he was in Captain America Winter Soldier. But yeah, <laughs> I feel this is like the cartoony toy version of him. <laughs> so yeah, Rucker here has a similar face to Crash here. The only difference is the beard, the hair slightly, just slightly. And I think the nose is different too actually, it's weird. They look similar but then different at the same time. So he's clean shaven here. <laughs> Looks a little bit happy, like a little smirk. <laughs> so I, w I thought that they had the same body but they don't they have the same colors that's for sure but they have different bodies his straps different he has no vest his straps are here with the belt with all the pockets are right there actually he might have the same legs no they don't the guns different you can see that so yeah he's got a different gun in the holster right here he's got the pants somewhat of knee pads right there and the boots Boots look good. He's got a pocket right here. His sleeves are not rolled up. They're all the way down. He's got the gloves as well. Trigger fingers right here and regular hands right here. On the back however, not painted once again. So that sucks. You can see uh, like as if he had like a hood right here. A little hoodie. <laughs> got the hole right there with the screw. And yeah, same, same paint detail. He has the camo on the legs and the arms. Articulation wise, same same as the other. Ball jointed head, so you can go left and right. He can go up more though, and down. His his head articulation is a lot better. Same thing with the arms, pin socket shoulders, side to side, hinge the elbow, rotate at the forearm, or like right at the, right by the elbow. Nothing in the wrist. He does have waist, and legs go this forward, and this back. And you cannot go side to side. Single jointed knee right there and that's it so yeah it's pretty good 
Now let's get this guy. The solid snake wannabe. Solid snake himself. <laughs> Anyways, back of the package shows that his name is... Nikolai Volkov? If I'm pronouncing it right. Nicknamed Dozer. So here's Dozer here. And he looks pretty cool. I think he probably looks the coolest out of all of them. Out of all three guys. I mean, doesn't he not look like Solid Snake from Metal Gear? <laughs> he's got the headband, he's got the uniform. What a knockoff. <laughs> but he's cool though. His face is completely different though. It does not look like them, like the other two. No similarities at all, not even the uniform. So he's got uh, not too many colors though. He's got like this greenish gray color all over him. And uh, he's got regular gray, light gray on parts right here, like his gauntlets and I guess his plate, his protector down here on the pockets. It's got yellow for his binoculars and one of those straps around him. He's got a knife right there in the holster. He's got some shoulder pads and uh, some more armor. He's got the belt. Yeah, this guy's geared up. Look at his boots. He's got like protectors, shin guards on the bottom. It's cool. I like it. I don't know what the heck this shit is though. Right here. It makes it look like it's like some kind of hazmat thing or some kind of like you know caution. You know, don't stand right there or something. It's weird. It's got the gloves. Both hands are open. This one's the trigger finger. This one's the regular hand. So articulation wise all I can do he does not have a ball joint ahead. He actually has less articulation. He has a swivel on his head, turn left and right. Cannot go up and down at all. Cannot go tilt either. Shoulders are on just the swivel. You can go this far. You can go all the way around, I guess, if you want. But it's hindered due to the shoulder pads. No side to side, in and out. No elbows, no wrists, no nothing. Same thing on this side, just the shoulders. Nothing in the waist or the knees. So that kind of sucks. He's like the coolest looking figure of the pack, but yet he's got the less articulation. It's weird. Only three guns came in this pack, and judging from the package, the way they were packed in there, each figure comes with their own individual gun. So that's pretty cool. So, for uh, Rucker, Rucker's gun, here is uh, some kind of assault rifle slash shotgun slash, I don't know what to call this. It's pretty cool though. It's only one color though. The sculpting is pretty good. You got the magazine right there. You got the handle right there. Two handles. Here's where the trigger would be. You got the scope. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And does it fit in his hand? Let's find out. Let's bring Wrecker here. Put it into his hand. Into his trigger finger. And yeah, it fits. Awesome. Look how badass that looks. Let's try and put his finger in there. There we go finger is in the trigger. But it's kind of weird though. It's cool. And for Crash's gun, here is the pistol or handgun, whatever it is. Looks like a regular gun but then it has this weird handle on the back. It's strange. Sculpting's okay but once again it's only one color. Yeah, it's, it's cool. It's good enough. And does it fit into his hand? Let's find out. Trigger finger is on this side. Put it into his hand like so. And yeah. It's in his hand. Yeah. It's pretty big actually for a handgun. <laughs> That's pretty badass too. And Dozer comes with this rocket launcher. It's pretty cool. I like it. I mean they got no detail on the the back here. But the rest is looks really nice look at that it's awesome got all the sculpting you need but one color once again and you can hold it from uh, right here there's the handle it's cool and one thing that's unique about this figure is that it can go into his back right here you saw that hole earlier it's not for a screw or anything like that there's no screw in there but then there's this this is not a handle or anything but it does go in here from what I'm guessing there's no indication, but there's no other reason for it either, so it's got to be. It goes on him like that, and I can walk around 
the fucking rocket launcher is back. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I just thought it was awesome and kind of ridiculous at the same time. Now, does it fit into his hands? Let's find out. Chinger fingers over here. Put it through his finger. And then put the handle into his hand. There we go. He's holding it. It's crazy. <laughs> and for the bike, we'll see which figures actually fit on there. Because none of them have the articulation to do the leg splits, so let's see what happens. If we got Crash, let's see if his legs fit on there. Yeah, I guess he fits. But can he sit? There we go. Yeah, this is about the best I can get for him. Looks like he's actually doing stunts. Like, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's not a great fit though. Let's bring in Dozer here. Nope. I mean, he's on there, but he's not gonna hold the handles. That's for damn sure. Now without articulation, he doesn't have enough. But Rucker here, he has the most legs spread out already without even doing it so I think I think this bike might have been made for Rucker here you know he's got the articulation and his legs are a little bit more spread out than everybody else's so I think it was meant for him Ugh. get in there but then again I could be wrong <laughs> what the heck okay here is Rucker next to the Mattel Movie Masters, Dark Knight, the Joker. You can see the big height difference here. Here is Dozer next to the Hasbro Marvel Legends Winter Soldier from the movie Captain America Winter Soldier. The arm is tiny. And here is Crash next to the NECA Predator, Dutch, Arnold Schwarzenegger. So these figures aren't going to go well with the 6 inch to 7 inch or even 5 inch figures. It's going to come down to the other size figures which are also 3 3 quarter inches. Got the Marvel Infinite Series, Marvel Universe style, Wasp, and one of the Power Rangers, I'm assuming, one of the newer series, Mega Force. I'm just guessing. I found this at my job. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work with the 5 inch figures. They're Superman. So, my final thoughts on these figures they're pretty cool for what they are Crash, Rucker, and Dozer. This three pack, they are what they are. What they are is figures meant for kids that's why they don't have all the articulation you're gonna need or all the paint detail like the adult is looking for or even the size but you're getting a pretty good deal for what it is you're paying like 10 bucks for three figures accessories plus a bike why the hell not give them to your kids your little brothers have them play in the backyard in the dirt have them fight against a predator <laughs> or you can just use them as background people in your stop motion videos like who cares if there's in the background, who really cares how big they are. And of course these aren't really new figures. They've been re-released in multi-packs or single carded plus different colors. You know I think I remember seeing this guy wearing all red years ago. He came in some pack with like a watchtower and other stuff. It's pretty good. Plus they got all kinds of teams. The corpse here. Remember on the back of the packaging we got all kinds of other teams over here. They're pretty good. We got the water team. We got the air force team. And since they're not based off a movie or some kind of cartoon series, they're a lot cheaper in price. So I recommend these to anyone for anything, any reason. Why the hell not? So yeah, what do you guys think about this? Do you guys have these figures? Do you guys see them all the time? The peg warmers? Does your little brother have them? Did you used to have them? What do you guys think? I'd like to know your thoughts. Alright guys, that was my review on the corpse. Total soldier. Three man recon. Alright, thanks for watching.